right guys, so today's video is going to be again on the Nexus Root Toolkit and I'm going to focus specifically on rooting your Nexus device and in today's video our example is going to be this Nexus 7 right here. So you obviously are going to have to know how to select your model type which I did cover in a video so check that one. Install your drivers again covered in another video. My playlist on this thing is pretty uh, in detail so uh, pretty detailed so definitely check that out if you want to get those two things set up first from there we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to root the device now i've already unlocked my bootloader that is also a requirement again more videos i have on that as well so i just want to root this device i don't want to install custom recovery to just root specifically root only is what i'm attempting to do so make sure you have everything on your device set up you are going to have to have adb working right there you can see uh, or usb debugging and it's got the little lollipop icon in the top corner right there and you have to have your device booted up like it is right here and this is the 2013 Nexus 7. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is on Lollipop Android 5.0.1 22C is the build number and we're going to go ahead and root this. Like I said, same process will be for any Nexus on Lollipop. So we're going to go ahead and click the root button and the beautiful thing about this tool is it just warns you about everything and makes this super, super simple. You can walk right through all of the steps. So if you need to flash something in the future, you will need to use flash zips, custom recoveries, utilities, buttons, blah, 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 blah. Talks about it, says you need to be unlocked or your bootloader needs to be unlocked already. Um, if, if you haven't done these prerequisites, go ahead and hit cancel. I have them hit okay. So it checks ADB status right there, and you can see in the log here, live log on the side, it makes it really, really nice to understand what is being done to your device. Here you can see it's booted into bootloader mode, and from here we're going to check the status of fastboot, which it's doing right this minute. And as long as those drivers are functioning correctly, it's going to go ahead and boot a modified boot image to enable running privileged commands. So your device is going to, should, boot up here in a second. So, and there you go. And it's just waiting to see the device is communicating correctly. And what it's going to do from here is it's going to go ahead and push over um, some files and start working on this root process. But let's, let's just wait for it to finish booting. The boot image that it just booted actually allows ADB insecure, which allows you to have root commands over ADB is basically what it does. So device is detected and it's pushing root files to the device right now. I'm going to open this. Oh, well, it's all right. We'll, we'll open it up over here. Shouldn't hurt anything to, so you guys can see the screen. So it's going to go ahead and do that. And that looks good. And it's rebooting your device into bootloader mode. It also pushed over a open recovery script or a team win recovery project script. And um, that way when it boots recovery, it'll run that script and give you root access. So you won't have to do anything in recovery once it does it. So right now it is booting uh, team win recovery project temporarily. So it's not actually installing recovery to your device right this minute. What it's doing is it's going to go ahead and boot it, flash the root files that need to be flashed over to give your device root and then it'll reboot the device and you'll have root access on the device very very nice like I said I haven't touched anything since I clicked that root button and agreed to it and said okay so this feature is absolutely amazing and super easy to root with this Nexus root toolkit let's let this thing boot up one more time here it says waiting for device all right, there is a little Android is upgrading there for a quick second. You're going to see that, and it should see the device is connected again. Let me uh, go ahead and open that up. And it's just waiting. There we go. Device detected. And I think that's the end of the script. Yes, it is. So then you get this pop-up right here, guys, that basically just tells you to go ahead and do some things on the device. So let's go over to my device, and I'll walk you through the steps of this, and you're done on this tool. So what we're going to do here boys is we're going to come in here and the first thing it says is to go ahead and open the super user application. So mine is right here. And if it comes up and says anything about updating binaries, just go ahead and do that and just say normal to updating. Mine didn't do that right here, so no worries. 
Then we're going to come into App Store again and we're going to go to Busy Box Free and we'll click on that and we will grant it super user rights. That proves that you have root access right there. And then we're going to close that out. We're going to make sure it says will be installed on system slash xbin, which it does. And then we're going to hit install. And this installs BusyBox, which is really important to get root working correctly on all of your root applications. And once it is done, which it is, that's it. You now have root access on your Nexus 7 2013 edition, or actually any Nexus device you want to use this amazing tool on. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, on the Nexus Root Toolkit. I'll be covering a little bit more here and there to show you just all of the amazing features and stuff you can do with the Nexus Root Toolkit. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.